uh, the whole fascination for me is that the, the entire cycle of the Ripper murders was an occult event. I mean, if we look, if we draw from Bucks Row to Hanbury Street, uh, where the murders took place, down to Burner Street, this is in the order in which they all took place, over to Mitre Square, which happened on the same day, and we're looking at the canonical five here, right up to Mary Kelly and Dorset Street. If we join them all up, we end up with this shape, adding to it Kelly, if we rotate it 90 degrees and superimpose that shape, we end up with a swastika, which as everybody knows, was an occult symbol used by the Nazis. Uh, Jack is all the worldwide, and everybody is afraid of him. They are like uh, scared, they love to be scared of Jack. Uh, like children, we are all wanting to be read ghost stories by mother, then Jack he scares us. Scary is good, uh, he's natural for us, and Jack is, uh, how you say in your country, a man with bogey. Uh, well, personally I don't see what all the fuss is about. Um, I mean, it's, I think it's very bad taste. I don't, uh, when I, where I live, I don't like the guided tours coming round and, you know, disrupting uh, my evenings, uh, screaming out about murder and things like that. Um, I mean, it, it can get very stressful. I've had uh, people on tours knocking on my doors and, and, and if you're sitting up and you're trying to watch Newsnight um, and all you can hear is people screaming out about uh, disemboweling and uh, prostitutes, it, 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 it can be very stressful. I mean, I'm finding this quite stressful now. I, I don't like talking about it. God, I must go and get some sushi. Jack, don't frighten me, man. Yeah, I got street smarts. Know what I'm saying, bruv? I've been down a long time. That Jack is just a butty boy compared with my posse, right? I got, because I got RFZ, I got Big J Style, I got Maxi Flex and Alistair Pimp. So if that Jack wanna go chirps him with a big lane massive, right, with his silly hat and that, he's gonna get bare turf, didn't he? Jack the Ripper, I mean, what kind of tag is that anyway, man? Chief. The East End of London, the killing ground of the Whitechapel murderer, has changed drastically from the slums of the 19th century. Council planning and the Blitz have seen to it that vast areas of land have been redeveloped beyond recognition. For some, this is the welcome removal of appalling social conditions. For others, the sad violation of the past. The East End is a very different place to how it was 30, 40 years ago. Uh, but the area resonates with an energy, uh, peeling back layers of time and form, juxtaposing wave after wave of culture and counterculture uh, to infuse the area with a kind of savage dichotomy, uh, the scrapings of a sinister underbelly of the primeval city in flux. Uh, it's an ongoing change, but the echoes of its past velocitate around its streets. To find those residences and fill them, to make them live, one really has to be in the right place at the right time. And are we? Uh, no. No, we're not. The mystery of Jack the Ripper has become a legend. A living legend. A living legend that will live on after most other living legends have died. For those who seek the truth, the answer may never come. For those who think they know the truth, can only come disappointment. Perhaps even a decision for a drastic life change. Uh, I don't think we're any closer to finding Jack the Ripper than we were this morning, or even yesterday. It has uh, puzzled great minds for over a century. So why change now? I mean, if anyone does find the truth, well, I guess it's uh, back to the day job. The amount of rubbish talked about the Whitechapel murders is astonishing, particularly when you realise all along that it was, it was Diddles who done it. Jack the Ripper is a subject that will continue to fascinate. For academics such as Mario Putano, it is still yep. all too real. Giacomo La Ripper. Brutal.
sangue oh miseri oh brutto londra londra brutto oh sangue oh oh brutto oh miseri oh oh, oh. And so we reach the end of our journey. We have placed before you the realities and the myths, spoken to the experts and commentators. It's just a shame that the History Channel weren't interested in this film. Or National Geographic comes with that. They were offered. I mean, we worked to a tight budget, but no, they turned us down flat. Have they got no respect for great documentary filmmaking? I mean, we could quite happily go on for hours about building a large bridge somewhere or sharks that can talk, but oh no, give them something truly cutting edge and they, they throw it back in your face. Bastards. I don't know why I bothered. And why am I putting on this stupid melodramatic voice? That's it. I'm off down the pub. I'm not the bloody Ten Bells either. It's full of posers. It's curry night down the moon underwater. I'm going. It's 4 and you get a pint of lager for nothing. See ya. Attitude FM, DJ Attitude, coming at you from the top.